In this video you're going to learn what's Deep Sleep and how to use it with the ESPD266 in the Arduino IDE. If you've made a project with an ESPD266 board that is powered with a battery, or if you just connect your ESP node MCU board to a power bank, after running it for a while you realize that the battery doesn't last very long. With most of these modules you can change the hardware to save power but you can write software. If you use the sleep functions with a ESP, it will draw less power and ultimately your batteries will last longer. In this video, we're going to explore how deep sleep works with the ESP8266. There are three types of sleep modes, modern sleep, light sleep and deep sleep. They all have different purposes and they should be used in different applications. For our application we want that everything for the ESP8266 is always off, except the real-time clock, which is how the ESP keeps time. So, we'll use the deep sleep mode, which is the most power efficient option and the ESP ship only draws approximately 20 microamps. Of course, an assembled ESP8266 board will draw a lot more current. Other sleep modes like the modem sleep and light sleep are helpful if you still need to have your ESP functioning and you want some additional power options. However, if you need some serious power saving, deep sleep is the only way to go. With deep sleep, an example application looks like this. The ESP connects to Wi-Fi, performs an action, sleeps for a defined number of microseconds, repeats that process over and over. For these examples I'm going to use the Arduino IDE and you can find the link below this video to learn how to prepare the Arduino IDE for the ESP8266 and how to upload code to an ESP board. Let's start with a simple example. You need to use a wire to connect the reset pin to GPIO16 which is labeled as D0 in a Node MCU board. Simply follow the on-screen diagram. If we take a look at the Node MCU pinout, we can see that GPIO16 is a special pin and it has a wake feature. The reset pin of the ESP is always high while the ESP8266 is running. However, when the reset pin receives a low signal, it restarts the microcontroller. If you set a deep sleep timer with a ESP, once the timer ends, GPIO16 sends a low signal, and that means that GPIO16 when connect to reset pin can wake up the ESP every time the timer ends. After understanding how this works, here's the code that you need to upload. In this example we print a message in the Arduino IDE serial monitor. The ESP goes to sleep for 30 seconds and repeats. In a real application we'll want to perform a useful action like make an HTTP request while the device is awake. Keep in mind that the deep sleep time is specified in microseconds. If you want to make a similar setup with an ESP01 board you need to solder a wire as shown on screen because that tiny pin is GPIO16 and it needs to be connected to the reset pin. However, the pins are so tiny that it's very hard to solder a cable like that. You could also upload the code that puts your ESP in constant deep sleep mode. As you can see, we put a zero inside the deep sleep function. So, your ESP only wakes up when something resets the board. It can be the press of a push button or a magnetic read switch being closed, for example. Here's how the ESP looks with the push button connect. When the reset button is pushed, wakes the ESP up, does the programmed task and goes back to sleep until a new reset event is triggered. Let's measure the current with a multimeter. Here's how you should place your multimeter probes. When the ESP01 is in deep sleep mode, it's only using 0.3 milliamps. Now, when I press the push button, 
the ESP wakes up and does some action. In this case, it prints a message in the Arduino IDE serial monitor. After a few milliseconds, it goes back to deep sleep. Keep in mind that during normal usage with Wi-Fi, the ESP can consume between 50 milliamps and 170 milliamps. Now that you know how to use the deep sleep function, your battery powered project can last a lot longer. I hope this video was useful. Thanks for watching.